Yo, what's poppin'? It's your country cousin here. So great for in the building. And I just wanna let you know. This game was actually pretty alright. I will say we did have a few slip-ups, of course, of course, you know, but it happens through the season. Second year, man. Yeah, we may be an impact player right now, but that don't mean nothing. But let's go ahead and get you into the newsletter, though, man. You know the Campus Gazette. We talking about the Hurricanes again. Why? Because them boys just beat the dog out of Ohio State. Man, listen, dog. Listen. This was not a game that you didn't want to miss. Matter of fact, I wish I was able to watch this game. Bruh. Oh, my goodness. Them boys got worked. You thought Ohio State was going to win? Psych. Miami, 48 to 21, dog. They number two in the nation for a reason. Hatback number four did do his thing, of course, and he was out there on the passing and on the ground game. But, man, they quarterback, bro, number 12 on Miami. The stats already say enough, dog. Five total touchdowns, bro. And this man only missed three passes for 217? Stop playing with that man head top, dog. For real. Stop playing with him, dog. They ain't even scored for two quarters after the first quarter. You thought this was going to be an even game? Psych, I lied. Like, bro, what? He's only able to score again until they got to the fourth quarter, bro. The fourth quarter. Miami was not playing with them. And them stats looked amazing, but oh well, fam. It is what it is. But here we are. Wide receiver number 18 is back. Right alongside wide receiver number one. Now, I'm going to show you the direct reason as to why I was not giving the ball to number eight. I said number 18. Number one more than number 18, even though number one was the better receiver. This man only had 10 drops. The whole season. The whole season. Number one has 17. There's a reason why he ended up getting over a thousand and number one only ended up getting to 949. The man dropped a lot of passes, dog. He dropped seven more passes than wide receiver number 18. Bro. Wide receiver number one was supposed to have 1400 last year right alongside wide receiver number four bro ain't no way that this man the best wide receiver on our team better catching rating than everybody here dropped 17 passes throughout the season crazy i was upset because there's been plenty of times where i had to stop passing to this man because he dropped the ball more than twice like, 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 look at this, man. Like, like, let's look at this real quick. This man has some pretty decent stats. He has very good stats. But his catching is at 84. Ain't no way he should be dropping these passes, bro. Like, look at the two. This man is at 76, and he dropped less than passes. It's crazy. It's kind of like I have to worry about his inconsistency at times. Hopefully against Middle Tennessee. We won't have a lot of those, but man, I am glad to be back with number 18 on the field because I need somebody to be a decoy for wide receiver number one. I do. I really do. I really do. That's what I was doing with number nine for last game. Got him to a certain points and made sure that he was doing good. But man, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But back to where we at right now which is the players of the week and here we are again yo the past two weeks my guys have been handling business yeah i know i kind of skipped over week one and week two but we covered that in the last video okay this video is specifically for free safety 24 bro six tackles one interception force fumble force fumble recovery fam he was a dog bro he, he, he put in work and I got a feeling this man gonna put in some more work against Middle Tennessee because they quarterback ain't that great. 
but let's slide over to the ratings real quick because I got to show you something. Now, yes, we are here with a regional game, by the way. This is a regional game this year. Last year wasn't so much a regional game, but this year, man, hey, you can tell by the ratings and statistics that we are evenly matched, so to speak, and I'm putting quotes, putting quotes, we are top 15 in the nation when it comes to the passing offense and total defense, however, eh, shaky, 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 but that's not the point. The point is we're doing pretty good. Turnover differential is going down. You love to see that. We get high up in the rankings. We not pass 100 like we usually are, but man, the ratings may show you one thing, but of course, like I said in the last video, until you play the game, how will you know? We are heavily higher ranked than Middle Tennessee this year. And I am hoping for a blowout. And if I don't get it, I don't get it. It is what it is. But man, did this game is going to be something else. But hey, listen, bro. We're not gonna miss this. <laughs> bro. What fam? They don't even got a player game on their side. Look at that, bro. That, that's blank. It's like they didn't even exist, bro. That shit said NA. They don't exist, bro. They have no players of the game, dog. Like they ain't do nothing. They went 63. They went 63 to zero on UMass, dog. Shame. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and get you to this passing drills real quick. Now, we are changing the equipment. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while. I supposed to change this equipment a long time ago. But we getting into it now, okay? We getting to it now. Yes, I'm going back to the normal helmet. At first, I did have the Revolution. I know a lot of people didn't like the Revolution helmets back then. I don't know if they still do now. But look, I'm going back to the normal. Of course, I got to switch it up. Make sure that you can't have all white. Your white be looking dingy because you already know if you ain't living by the motto, you gotta go. Okay, you gotta go. You got to. That's that's just how it is. But enough of that, though, man. Let's get you into this broadcast, though, man. See you at the end of the video. Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the Memphis Tigers and the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Blue Raiders. The Tigers are confident a bunch of kids and rightfully so Kirk this team is just too powerful Memphis comes into this football game led by the quarterback and he's such a leader believe me he won't buy into any of this pregame we're gonna blow him out hoopla 
He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. I agree with you on this one. I like Grayson, Beale Street, and Barbecue, so I'm taking Memphis. Excellent. Okay, let's send it down to our head referee for today's game in the coin toss. This offense will live and die by their star quarterback. Do you think they'll be able to stop this kid today? I think a lot of people are expecting him to have a big game. I don't see why he won't. This kid has played against better defenses than this in his career, and he should have a great day picking apart this secondary. I'm with you on this one, Kirk. The defensive line is going to have to put a lot of pressure on this kid to slow him down because I just don't think these corners can stay with his receivers. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. And they pick up two yards from their own 27-yard line. It's second and eight. Going with the shotgun here. Washington steps back to pass. He delivers, and it's the senior. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. Third and two. Washington lines up in the shotgun. Washington from the option. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of about five. First down, ten to go. Single set backfield. Play action. Looking. He's rolling left. He fires this one. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Number 18 was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up second down. From their own 10 yard line. It's second down. Middle Tennessee State puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Cut. Washington drops the throw. Looking, rolls to the left. He's going to take off. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. The Tigers line up with a single setback to you. Washington to the air on first down. Rolling out to the left side. He throws left. No nope. tackle. And they tackle him. What a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. Memphis lines up with three receivers. First down. Look at the throw. Looks. Washington fires it right. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. That'll be a gain of three yards. It's second and seven. Number two, lines up as a single back. Blocking five. Cut. He'll give it off here. He's taken down at the 49. The halfback picks up a yard. We've got a third and six. Ball on the 49-yard line. Washington comes to the line with three wide. Here's the option. Laterals the ball. Brought down at the 34. They pick up another first, guys. They've got a decent drive going here. Yep, the offense is doing exactly what they have to do. Move the sticks. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. 
Memphis sets up with four receivers. First down, look at the throw. He rolls out to the left. He's going to take off. That is exactly why this kid is so tough to defend. You bet he is. He's faster than some of the receivers. First and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Memphis comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Washington on play action. He's taken off. He gets hit out of bounds at the four. And a big gain on the quarterback scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off. And all the quarterback has to do was run to the vacant spot on the field. And don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback recognizing the coverage and having the courage to tote it downfield. Memphis lines up in a goal line set. Washington makes the handoff. Goes to the end what? zone. Incomplete. Well, he almost what had it. Fuck? But tight ends usually aren't the most graceful players on the field. It's second and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. They'll give it off here. Touchdown, Tigers! And the halfback took it in for the score. That young man has proven to be a valuable member of this squad. And if he keeps running like that, he'll find himself in the end zone a lot. They line up at the 45. First down. From the gun. He's looking. Slings it. Has it to the senior. Down the sideline. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Hey, coach, was that a fine pass play or what? Uh, or what is right. This young man is a complete active quarterback. He knows where his receivers will be, and he gets a quick release to them in a big, big hurry. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 28. The Tigers line up with three wide. Washington drops back. He rolls left. He flings it. Complete. What a catch. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. The defense is coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. That gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold him this time. He's looking to pass. He looks. Rolls to the right. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked. Second down and goal. Ball on the 14-yard line. One man backfield. Back to pass. Looks. He's rolling left. He throws. Caught. He's pushed out of bounds at the nine. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there. And that ball was thrown in the right spot. Well, the offense will look to the end zone here. It's third and goal from the nine. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Washington back to throw. He's looking. And he hits him hard at the 22. And did you ever get hit that hard, Kirk? You bet. I just cringe when I see hits like that on the quarterback. It's a lot safer up here in the booth, that's for sure. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Yeah. Memphis comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Laterals back. He spins, knocked out of bounds at the 38-yard line. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. Four wide. Looks to pass. Surveys the field. Feeling the pressure. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. 
the Tiger. Come out in the shotgun. Washington, back to throw. Rolls to the left. He rifles it. Oh, yeah! And he pulls it down. Great concentration. The flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. First of the battle. Whopping the pass. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. So the all will move a little bit bullshit. closer with that penalty. Memphis looks to take a commanding three-score lead here. Memphis comes to the line with three wide. Washington drops back to pass. Hey, yo, the what the fuck? Number 82 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. Memphis comes out in the shotgun. He jukes him. And they make the stop at the nine-yard line. So at the most, he gains a few inches. So the offense will look to the end zone here. It's third and goal from the nine. The Tiger come out showing three wide. He steps up, looks, rolling Bye -bye. The side. And now he's going to run. Touchdown. Wow, now that is what I call a big time me. play. And here's why he was forced to make that play, Brad. First of all, he had no help from his receivers. No one could get open. And secondly, well, and secondly, sorry, Coach, but he didn't have much pass protection. He had to scramble out of the pocket and make something happen on his own. It's first down. The Tiger line up with a single set backfield. Washington flips it out. They got great run support from the safety position on that one. He had his eyes in the backfield that whole play. Great anticipation to stop him for a loss. Memphis. Comes to the line with three wide. Looks, throws it, got it. The senior tackle made at the 36. So they pick up a few with a pass play, coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Four coming up on this one. Ball on the 36 yard line. Number two, alone in the backfield. Washington steps back to pass. Whoa, he just took a licking. The Blue Raiders take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. My bad. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24. Memphis goes with the ace set here. Washington goes with a play fake. He rolls out to the right. He chucks it downfield. Excellent. He got it. And he's brought down at the 42-yard line. This kid has some springs in his legs, Kirk. It sure seems like it. He also has some pretty good hands to be able to go up and make that catch to give his offense a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. One man backfield. Cat 82. Looking to throw. Looking, rolling out to the right side. No sir. And he throws it away. Not me. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. Surveys the field. It's tipped. He's hit and taken down. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback, and they're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. First and 10. Ball on the 32. Washington is back in the gun. Here's the option. Fight! Fumbles the ball. Number eight. Falls on the fumble. Nice. What you gonna do? Recovery. What you, what you gonna think, do? That's just what the doctor ordered. A turnover here could be a huge momentum swinger. First down, ten to go. They're in the red zone. The Tigers line up with a single set back to you. On play action. Looks. Guns Excuse me, motherfucker. Intercepted in the end zone. Yeah. Double homicide. Not a good throw there. 
as this defender gets his first pick of the season. This game is slowly getting That's out all of I got to say, man. Don't That's let these the tears fool you. The it's all dog around his mug. And when you know they're going to pass the ball, ha, it's easy to defend. They'll start this drive at the 35-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Looking. He passes it. And it's caught. Catch it, bitch. Off a would be tackler. They'll bring him down at the 46. A few yards that time on the pass. This is just a little pass to the halfback. Nothing spectacular, but it's plays like these that keep the defense off balance and drives alive. First and ten. First down. Four wide. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Feeling the pressure. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, And Jesus. he's all the way down to the 29-yard line. Perfect time for the play-action pass. Well, here the defense is looking for the run, and the play-action put him in even a worse position. They just weren't ready for the pass there. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Memphis comes to the line with three wide. Washington will hand it off. He tackles him for a loss. Hey, Kirk, it's not too easy to run it when the safety is flying to the ball like that. Well, Lee, I think they have to use a guard, maybe maybe even a fullback to get out there. But if you leave him on blocks, he's going to be all over the ball carrier. Second and 13. Ball on the 32-yard line. Middle Tennessee State lines up in a dime defense here. Block 85. Goal 32. Hot, hot. Hot. Washington. Hot. The option right. That's a great tackle. What the fuck? Three yard line. One yard loss on the play. They line up at the 33. Third down and 14 to go. DC. The Tigers come out in the eighth oh, no. formation. Washington. Those. Pass. Oh. And, got him. and he will score. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. Offside. On the defense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. If this were baseball, he'd bat cleanup because he's the biggest home run threat they got. First and ten. Ball on their own 21. Number two. Lines up as a single back. Goal 32. Hut. Hut. Catch it, bitch. Hands it off. And down he goes at the 24. They get three yards on the play. From their own 24-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. The Tigers line up with four wideouts. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Somehow gets really, the ball away. It's picked up by the defense. And he's tackled at the 13-yard line. Too little, too late, guys. Oh, yeah. No chance these guys are coming back. Yeah, but at least these guys are still playing hard. You do got to give them some credit for that. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Washington drops back on first down. He rolls out to the left. And now he's going to run. And they push him out at the 39-yard line. Number 16 is walking off milk. the field now, and the Help trainers me. are going to have a close Help look at him. Me. Oh, yeah, it looks like he hurt Nigga. his arm on that play. Yards to go. Memphis in a four-wide set. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Memphis 27, Middle Tennessee State 7. First they line up at the 39. The First down. 
The Tigers come out showing three wide. First down, look at the throw. Throw short, it's tipped. Number two was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. From the 39-yard line, second down. The Tigers line up with a single set back to it. Three, six, three, inside four. On the goose, on the goose. Hut. Up the middle. He juked him out of his shoes. Number six two, yards on the carry. Gain of six on the play. Third From the 33-yard line, third it's third down. Line. Memphis White comes to the three. line with three wide. Hot, hot. Hot. Washington drops to throw, looks, rolls right. And now he's going to run. He's pushed out of bounds at the 14-yard line. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good defense, but. You got to keep your eye on that kid. Number two, the lone back. Washington, back to throw. He's rolling right, looking. Fires! Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The offense took an errant shot into the end zone, and I'll tell you what, that one should have been picked off. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to hear all about that from his teammates when he comes over to the sideline. Second down and 10 to go. They come out with three wide receivers. Washington drops back, looking. He rolls left. And now he's going to improvise. The ball came free. They'll line it up again on third down. Memphis lines up in a goal line set. And he's tackled at the two. Close, close call, but it's good for the first down. That defender down there is upset. He knows that if he would have gotten to the play a second sooner, he would have been able to make the stop. But a great call and a good run there on third down. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. And down he goes at the one-yard line. Number two picks up a yard on the play. From the one-yard line, second down. They've got all the big boys in for this one. They get in, touchdown. So they give it to the fullback, and he finds his way into the end zone from a few yards out. Why not give it to this guy inside the five? He looks like a big old dump truck carrying a football out there. They line up at the 31. It's first down. Yeah. Memphis sets up with four receivers. Washington, back to throw. Let's it fly. Tackle made at the 25. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Second and four. Ball on the 25. Washington with four wide receivers. Washington drops back to pass. Complete. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 20-yard line. And that one goes for about five yards and first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. Memphis comes to the line with three wide. Washington looking to throw on first down. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. Washington hasn't missed yet. He zips it, and it's incomplete. Rock test. That'll drive the coach. That'll drive the quarterback. And that'll drive the fans. Well, I'm sure he'll get an ear when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. Line up at the 14. Here's third down. Four yards to go. They come out in a goal line set. Let's it go. Incomplete pass. 
Kirk. Yeah, Coach. Did you see that drop pass? Yeah, but it's safe to say that he heard footsteps, don't you think? I mean, the defender almost got there at the same time as the football. All right. Well, the correct answer is yes, he did drop the football. Come on, sweetheart. The quarterback is trying to get you the ball. You got to make those kind of plays out there. First, First down. down. Ball on the 30 yard line. Washington with three wide receivers. Washington with the give. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. I'm him! I'm him! Memphis lines up in a shotgun set. Blue 19! He's under pressure. My bad. They'll sack him at the 27 yard line. From their own 27 yard line, it's third down and 13 to go. Set. Blue 19. Black 85. Cat 82. Hut. Washington set to go to the air. He throws it. Someone got a hand on it. They can't connect. Incomplete. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. First of the battle. Dropping the pass. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. Big First penalty man. there, guys. 15 some yards. Now he's got to know that the refs won't allow him to take the quarterback down so late. First From their own 42 yard line. 42 yard First down. Washington Black comes to the five. line with three wide. Hut. They hand it off. Break one. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. Three wide outs here. Washington hands it off. Jibu. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. He seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Washington lines up in the shotgun. Again with the run. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. They've been practically unstoppable on the ground, Coach. I'll tell you what, this has been just about as perfect as you can get in the running game. And that's the end of the ball game. What are your final thoughts on the game, Coach? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Memphis faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score... Memphis, 37, Middle Tennessee State, 14. With the coach, Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and all the EA Sports team, I'm Brad Nessler signing off. Man, come on now. You know you've seen that work. You know you've seen that work. Okay, yeah, there was a few slip-ups. Like I said, you know, they gonna happen. They gonna happen. But you've seen that work, though. Come on, man. Stop playing with David Washington out here, dog. Stop playing with him. Now, he could have, yeah, definitely got a few more rushing touchdowns. Yeah, he could have. But, man, the playbook opened up. The playbook has opened up. Man. 273 yards. Should have been 311 or really 350, but we ain't going to get into that. Two tutties, one interception. 60% completion. Yeah, the average is nine yards, but we ain't talking about that right now. Because, yeah, I was sacked four times. Oh, yeah. I was sacked four times. Sacked four times. But guess what, though? Come on now, bro. My man's is a real scrambler now. 59 yards. Halfback got 52 yards. 
bro. Bro, this was this was a really good game, man. Really good game. Really good game. You cannot complain. Fullback, David Washington, and a halfback ended up getting a touchdown in this game. That's very good. Very good. Did very, very, very decently on the goal line, too. Cannot forget about that. Did pretty high. Right. And yes, David Washington had two fumbles. One of them was because this man was trying to pass, and then the other one, he just got laid out. We're not going to talk about that one. But man, hey. My guys did good as decoys. They was catching the ball. A lot of those drops was forced drops. It's not because they dropped it on their own. It's because they got hit, so I'm really not going to count those. But, man, wide receiver number one went off. Had good decoys behind him. Number nine, of course, like I said before, I was going to use him as a decoy. Again, it happened. Did good. Did good. The average was very, very nice, too. It, a lot. Well, I think about... A part of the receiving crew was past five on the average, so that, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, number nine and number one ended up getting touchdowns. But wide receiver number 86 and the tight end ended up getting hit, so we're not going to count those drops because they would have caught the ball and actually took it off for a first down. But, man, overall, though, man, it was a very, very good game. Defensively, man, come on now them boys put in work this time around um same thing with the last game a lot of heavy up front um up front type of the front seven was just dope the front seven was just dope got sacks all around plus they stopped the run game too dope you can't get no better than that but man the interceptions though the interceptions they got three of them things yet again Showing his true pride, being a defensive captain. That man did his job, dog. Free safety number 24, man. He just did his thing, bro. Like, you can't complain. You really can't complain about this defense. So far. Keep it so far. Because not everybody else on the team is amazing. That man right there is showing the true reason as to why he's the real defensive captain. You, you, can't, you can't blame him for anything on the field. But that's enough for now, though, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all stay safe. Take care of your peoples. Take care of yourself. Mind your business. Peace and love. Stay blessed.